Hi, everyone. It is February 5, 2020. The nanotechnology, the use of electromagnetic frequencies, man controlling our weather, it is becoming so obvious. And arguing the obvious is very, very difficult. But when it gets this obvious, and I'm going to show you how obvious it is, once again, satellite radar, and the idiocy of our weather reporters reading the propaganda that they are handed from the military, because militaries are controlling our weather. I'll show you it all and that people are just not getting it. It's really unbelievable. They don't want to get it. Now, for those of you who have said, where is your backup channel? What's the link? Look underneath the video, the description box. Right underneath the video, it says show more. Hit show more and you will see that people post information in that box when they post a video. The link is underneath videos. This is it. It's underneath my videos. And I also want to point out that I started making playlists on my backup channel. The playlists, nanotechnology, weather modification, Australia fires, uh, directed energy weapons. Okay. Um, nanotechnology. I no longer have patience for people who think that their opinion is worthy, is just as worthy as facts and evidence. Those of you who don't want to check out climate change, who really want to understand what's happening, those of you who just accept the lies that you are hearing about climate change, you leave a comment. Don't waste your time because it will be deleted. Those comments that say you're a nut job, you're a denier. And those of you who want to leave comments about how crazy I am that I'm saying nanotechnology is controlling our weather and you don't want to look into it, I have no patience for you. Don't bother leaving a comment. It's a waste of time because it will be deleted. Nanotechnology playlist. And I have included on my weather modification playlist on Never Lose Truth, this channel, the nanotechnology videos that I posted on my backup channel, like nanotechnology is controlling weather, just needs a military officer's command nanotechnology weather machine, what it is, how dangerous it is, was it caught on satellite, nanotech weather, nanotech signatures, visible atmospheric chaos, has man lost control? And I wonder, nanotech weather machine takes over Earth's atmosphere, what it looks like and the implications, and other videos that I'm just pointing out the nanotechnology, the nanobots in our atmosphere. So, uh, check out playlists on somebody's channel if you don't understand what they're talking about. They may very well have videos that explain it. So, here we are. Our mainstream media, sleet, snow, severe storms to impact millions. From Texas to Maine, yes, those thousand plus uh, miles of storms that we never had before, that should beg questions. And these storms, well, capable of producing isolated tornadoes in the South today. Tornado, tornado, tornado. That's just part of the forecast now. Part of it, it, this storm, it's part of a larger system which will impact a nearly 2,000 mile stretch of land. That should beg questions. What is going on? Well, when you've got those nanobots and you control those nanobots, you can create 
2,000 miles of cloud. When you have electromagnetic frequencies that you use to control the weather, and you can manufacture cloud, you can hit that cloud with frequencies, and you can bring about, ah, isolated tornadoes, as well as flash flooding and snow and ice. Yeah. CNN, how about Washington Post? Dynamic storm barrels across country with snow and flooding rains and severe weather. No doubt somewhere in this article, it's talking about tornadoes somewhere or damaging winds. Ah, even a few tornadoes. We never had forecasts like this and we sure as hell did not have tornadoes in the winter all over the country. Doesn't matter where you are, but they seem to be uh, bringing these tornadoes in the south. Yeah, local forecasts on mainstream media. Weather permitting? What the hell does that mean? Weather permitting? Weather permitting. Okay. Uh, storm to bring heavy, heavy wind, rain, to Fayetteville, North Carolina, weather permitting, so they don't know. If weather permits, this is what you'll get. These are the forecasts today. Could be possible, potential. Well, we should, but, well, check out later because we don't know the details. Heavy rain, potentially damaging winds, and the threat of a quick spin-up tornado or two around Cape Fear region tonight, Thursday. Isolated flash flooding as well in the Fayetteville area, part of a complex low pressure system barreling east into the balmy Gulf moisture that has sent temperatures over the Carolinas, Carolinas into the 70s. Check out my playlist, Weather Modification, and you will see how they, oh, they, man, the weather terrorists, those in control of the weather, can create these low-pressure systems. And here's the setup, the setup for you. They set it up, nanotechnology, nanobots, set them up for clouds covering central North Carolina, which are indicative of just how much moisture is on hand for showers. Man can also take the moisture from the Gulf, hold it in a cloud, transport that cloud to the Fayetteville area of North Carolina, hit it with a frequency, and boom, you've got flash flooding. A weak backdoor front will try to slide into the Carolinas from Virginia, from Virginia. Wait a second. Okay. It's going to, well, which way is the air mass going? I thought this was coming, well, from Texas, according to CNN, from the Gulf. But then I guess a front is going to come back from Virginia into the Carolinas. Okay, face, you know, the face palm. Oop, hear it? Hand to forehead. Not expected to get any further south than, say, Greensboro to the north side of Raleigh. But it will create a path for approaching energy to track across the state did you ever get forecasts like this? We now get them regularly. Cloud cover will help hold temperatures, reduce instability, a roaring lower level jet stream, winds about a mile above Fayetteville, should be running about 60 to 70 miles per hour. Wow. And if pulled down into passing storms, straight line wind damage will occur. Great. Threat of tornadoes is minimal, but possible. They would be high shear, low cape, spin-up storms. Smaller and weaker, but fast moving. 
and nearly impossible to spot on radar. They are possible to spot on radar. Here's radar. College of DuPage. Now, this is supposed to be the storm from Texas to Maine. And as you can see, these are scattered storms. I'll show you the line of cloud in a second, but all right, let's see. Let's do the sub-regional. Let's, uh, I think I got it down too far. Yes. Yes, I did. So, we'll go up a little. Wow. I can spot them before I turn on the loop. Harp. Next rad rings one, two, three, four, five. When you see this pattern in the signature in precipitation on radar, they can cause tremendous damage. High frequency heating of the ionosphere. They shoot these very uh, intense frequencies into the ionosphere. They push it up and then they let it go. And when that ionosphere comes bouncing back, it shoots down an extremely low frequency, which can cause tremendous damage. Hi, uh, the harp next red rings all over. Look at this. And they're intersecting. So don't be surprised if there's tremendous damage. Now, does that damage have to come about right now when you see these? No. 24 to 48 hours. I look to see the current weather in Florida, Panhandle, uh, Alabama, and still just getting those forecasts. But you can see also um, Arkansas area. Let's see. The nanobots. We never had precipitation looking like this before. We do now on a regular basis. Right here, you can see the defined circular pattern. You can see the frequencies in use. You can see the sawtooth frequency in this harp next rad ring. Right up here, you can see the microwaves in use, the extremely low frequencies in use, Gwen Towers. Yeah, we have another man-made storm, and uh, they have an awful lot of tools now to create these storms, but these storms are bringing damage. It's not the kind of damage like a Hurricane Harvey flooding out thousands upon thousands of homes or the kind of damage paradise you know hey let's just flatten in 24 hours tens of thousands of homes but people are getting hit with these weather events that are taking everything away from them their home all their belongings and it's happening all over the country. Trees falling everywhere, into homes, into cars. So these are the signatures that you want to watch out for. Whole lot of activity happening in Arkansas, Panhandle, Florida, Alabama, and none of it portends goodness. Let's check out, and I can go on and on and on. Yeah, look, you can just do it yourself. Um, 
you can see our precipitation doesn't even look like precipitation anymore. But they generally have the frequencies at the periphery of the storm or at the top or bottom of the storm. You can see right here all of the frequencies in use. Harp next red ring. And right here, the right angle. And you can see the uh, serrated edge, the sawtooth frequency in use. Okay. Um, now, a whole lot of people are getting destroyed, guys. A whole lot of animals get destroyed, killed off. Look how flat edge though. So look for the very defined lines, whether they're circular or straight edged, right angles. You will know. That's the signature of man controlling the weather. Let's just check out Washington. What's happening in Washington? I tried to find forecasts, but they, what I came up with was what happened a couple of days ago, the flooding out of a lot of areas. Forecast, you're getting a real fast drop in temperature for lots of snow, but you can see the extremely low frequencies involved right here. Montana, right up here, these straight edged lines. All right, um, and down here in Oregon, Oregon. Okay, so let's go to long wave. Ah, yes, and those harp next rad patterns that you see on radar, you go to satellite, the high frequency heating shows up like this. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, I'm so wrong, and I don't know how to read radar, and I don't know how to read satellites, and I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> they can heat the atmosphere with Doppler radar, with microwaves and Doppler radar is microwave or millimeter wave um, different bandwidths they can use uh, let's see look how straight edged right up here all right so it's moving on up north And then it's veered over east. Got lots of squares showing up today. You can see there are clouds just sitting stationary while clouds above them move along. You can see the microwaves, you can see the nanobots, these little flickering white dots down here. There is more cloud generated in Louisiana. You can see the microwaves in the clouds, these ripples, though it's getting harder to detect because the nanobots line up in lines and they can either look like dots or if they were commanded to create stratus clouds, then they can appear as these lines right here. Um, but it's clear that Mother Nature is not involved here. And you will also see the microwave use in areas. Slow it down a little. Microwaves in Arkansas right here. And 
This is not Mother Nature at all. Mother Nature did not you know, suddenly decide that she's going to produce thicker cloud in Louisiana and Arkansas that is going to ripple along into other states. do want to show you a very clear sign that man is definitely controlling weather. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? What is this? What is this? What is this? Wow. Okay. Got a whole lot of cloud in Colorado, uh, some in Utah, up here in Wyoming that is being held in place but really we're going to build cloud now little cubes of well n nothing in the cube but really squared off little sections of cloud is this is this what one could possibly believe is natural i hope not because Mother Nature never worked in right angles or defined uh, straight-edged lines, and she didn't create little pockets of squared off, oh, you have no cloud, but everywhere around we're going to go, oh, well, we'll give you no cloud. There's a little bit of sun sneaking through here and here, but right above you, oh, another little square. It is becoming so obvious, and that's what's so unbelievably frustrating. It is so frustrating. And then you listen to the mainstream media, meteorologists, and it, you just, I mean, do you run? Really? Okay. Mm. Very good chance we will see strong storms Thursday, so they can't forecast 24 hours. They used to be able to do five days, and they were pretty much accurate. Now, well... It could be, we might, possible, potential, very good chance. Strong storm. So a strong storm is coming tomorrow. Where? South Carolina, North Carolina. Oh, but we're not sure. Wow. All righty. Aren't you good at your job? Strong cold front will move through by late Thursday. Ahead of the front, it will be warm and humid with scattered showers Wednesday and widespread strong to severe storms Thursday. Heavy rain, flash flooding, damaging winds, and possible tornadoes are the biggest threat. Right here. Heading on up to North Carolina. And upstate I guess you kind of missed or were spare, spared the bullet I don't know because our local forecasters are saying we're supposed to get severe thunderstorms heavy winds and uh, will that come with power outages possibly Florida, severe weather outlook, strong winds, a tornado possible. Yeah, Alabama, threat of severe storms. Here. Strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. They're not, that just possible, could happen. They used to be able to really accurately forecast the thunderstorms and the tornadoes, or, but no longer. Everything they forecast today it's possible there's a chance there's a risk damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour few tornadoes and flash flooding will be the primary storm threats how is it that people are not questioning how we could possibly get severe weather all the time with damaging winds flash flooding tornado possible Straight winds, probable. Here. And people listen to these people. I can't believe it. It's really, oh my God, you want to. Mm -mm -mm. All right, look at this. Just quickly. 
So look at this break in this storm of Washington, Oregon, right here in the middle. Okay, so you've got cloud hanging over you, held static, and cloud moving above in lines, nanobot lines right here. Quite obvious, Mother Nature did not create this. Nice, evenly spaced, straight-edged lines of nanobots creating your cloud. Unbelievable. Oregon, how are you guys doing? Northern California, how are you doing? You've got, you've got the microwaves, you've got cloud held in place, You've got squared off right angled clouds, clouds moving above, nanobots, microwaves. How is everybody doing? How about you, Nevada? Yeah, uh, this is not what we ever saw on satellite up until the recent years. And it really within like the past several months the nanotechnology has shown up and it shows up every single day in such a force that you realize the mainstream media meteorologists are a farce. Held in place, cloud moving over, the held in place in Nevada, northern, uh, northern Nevada, Pretty much, there's a demarcated line. Nanobot factory. Yeah, here comes Mother Nature spitting out a cloud. Well, We here in the South need to be prepared for anything coming our way. You have your storm Kira. Is it Kira? Coming to the UK. Transported from North America. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. Your forecasters. They pretty much say the exact same thing that we say here. You're going to be getting 80 mile per hour winds. Hurricane winds now are irregular. We don't need the hurricane anymore. But you notice how this is just turning around, turning around. Yeah. This delivery system is predictable now. I've shown it on many videos. The nanobot factory. They call this an atmospheric river. I call this a manufactured nanotech structure bringing an awful lot of damage. Comes right on through Canada, though often you will see two-tiered. It's two-tiered. One swinging into Washington, Oregon, another one swinging north into Canada, coming full around, kind of engulfing half of the United States. You got, look at that square. Wow, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. You cannot deny this. Oh, yes, we can, Carol, and we will. Okay. Go for it. If you like being stupid, go for it. If you like being a child, go for it. We have man creating weather. All of these are nanobots. They could be hit with microwaves right here, or that could be the nano setup. Here's the setup. Remember that forecast? Here's the setup. 
that's your setup. And, oh wow. Okay, so we have, oh, quite the creation here. Okay. Uh, it's a regular, predictable nanotech structure down here in the south, coming in, goes across Mexico. Look how nicely defined it is. Now the wide swath of straight-edged cloud going through Mexico, through the Gulf, and on up, engulfing half of the United States. Then also going on out, but look at this. Now, you got air masses going in different directions, and you have the nanotech factory perhaps producing the nanotech here or nanotech here, and you've got three arms feeding, feeding the nanostructure that is also feeding this storm from Texas to Maine. Really? Really? You're going to tell me that that's Mother Nature? Wow. Boy, people are really, they've lost their friggin' minds. It's climate change. It's climate change. No, it really is not. It's nanotechnology. It's electromagnetic frequencies. See how the clouds are held in place right here? They usually do have clouds held in place, but more feeding into it, feeding into it. Yeah, cross stitch. Is that what you call it? Knitters? I don't knit. But neither does Mother Nature. Neither does Mother No, she doesn't. She's, she's not up there stitching her clouds, knitting her clouds. So you've got some cloud held in place here. Uh, this feeding more and more cloud into... This taking on a nice evaporation. We're just being pushed down. It's hard to tell. Air mass is going every which way. You know, if this didn't cause any damage, if this didn't cause animals to lose their life and the two-legged to lose everything or to lose their life? Well, I might be a little bit more funny, but I don't think any of this is funny. Now, look at this line. Really? Okay. So in the middle of this uh, cloud structure being manufactured, we've got some nanotech Yes, well, it's marching to its own beat right there. Oh, we've got more. Okay, we need more. We need thicker clouds. We need more of you nanobots. Go for it. None of this is natural. It is artificial. It is produced by man. Look at the amount of cloud we've got. And the cloud just goes on and on and on. Let's just check out uh, Europe because you're getting a fabulous storm too. Let's see. Yep. It's coming from North America. Really? Hmm. Well, this, I think, is that storm that I, sh the cloud that I showed you off the coast of Mexico. I believe it's this. Let's just 
take a quick look. I think I can swing it around enough. Oh yeah, and we have uh, off the coast of South America. Look at this. Come on, please. Your nanobot factory, the air mass is going in different directions. And you usually have con these concentric rings of nanobots down here. It's unbelievable. Wow, man. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. They got it going. They got it going. All right. From here in the Pacific. Let's. Come on, nanobot soldiers. Let's create cloud coverage that is obviously manufactured because it's straight edged all over. But we're going to bring this around to Europe. Well, I don't know. You got a ways to go. You're kind of being pushed up. And this is how it usually goes comes out, North America, I mean, uh, North United States comes out and then swings around into Canada. Canada, are you having any sun these days? Uh, a quick, quick, quick look at, well, it's clear that this, the storm has yet to uh, form, but you've named it. Yes, it is Storm Kira. And nothing looks really like a storm, but they're going to get it together and they're going to bring you some pretty intense weather. Now, you can see right here, even the faded, you can see all of the lines, you can see all of the nanotech, you can see artificially made. Artificial. Get ready for your heavy winds. Get ready for a lot of rain. Get ready for the temperatures to get really cold. All of it. Manufactured by man. 